Hey guys, it's Mel again. I'm not on my tripod, so sorry if this is shaky. Um, my mom's coming by to pick this up, so I just want to do a really fast video, so excuse the mess. But I wanted to show this banner that those of you who follow me and any new subscribers, I have a little sister who has been in Spain and a lot of other places for the past three and a half months studying abroad. And she comes home tomorrow, so her flight gets home and, um, like around 3 o'clock tomorrow. So I wanted to give this to my mom tonight because we're all going to be there. But she, my mom wanted to put it up in the door, so I told her I'd make her like a little banner. So I just wanted to share it with you before my mom comes and picks it up so she can put it on her door um, to my little sister's house. So um, really quick, I'll go over what I use. So it says, Welcome Home, Caitlin. Caitlin's my little sister's name. And um, what I used was I used the high-rise um, alphabet. I have the lowercase ones. I didn't think I needed the uppercase ones because I tend to like, you know, the lowercase. But I think I want the, um, the uppercase ones too. So maybe I'll put that on my wish list. But um, they're a little more expensive. I think these were like $24.95 and then they're $34.95 for the uppercase. I guess because it's more metal, more dye, I don't know. Then I use this Fiskars punch and I use this EK Success punch um, and some glue. And then I also used my big, whoops, my big spool of this pretty lace that I got at a garage sale. So I'm telling you guys, in the summer and spring, not so much now, but check your garage sales for your craft supplies. Um, cause I got this whole spool, I don't know what for, but maybe like four dollars, something like that. Something really cheap and there is a ton on here and I've been using it like crazy. And it's good for projects like these where you're going to use a lot of your ribbon or whatever. So you don't mind using it. And it looks pretty. So, um, I cut out, this paper is sparkly, black paper with sparkly silver. I got from Tuesday morning in a haul probably a while ago I showed you. So I put it to use and I just used pink. And here's where I use the Fiskars punch with my scraps of pink and cut it the same, the letter out and the same as the background. And this is paper tray ink. Um, let me grab it. The fishtail banner dye, it comes with that one. I showed you guys on a haul from the scrapyard. Sorry, I'm moving around. It came with that one and then this larger one that I guess, I don't know if it's to make two different banners or probably, oops, probably so that they can nest inside of each other. But um, I only used... I only use the smaller one for this because it's a little storm glass storm door that it's going to be going on. So um, then, so that was for this one. And then I used my lace. I just ran across it with my HEG gun and just placed it right on the front because normally I put it in the back. But I think this lace is pretty and kind of goes with, you know, the pink and black. And so, um, so my mom, I'm going to tie a little bow at the end, and my mom can, you know, probably tape it right up on her door. So that's for that part, and then for these ones, I didn't want to cut out 9,000 of these, plus the door is not that huge. So I punched out with this punch. Um, I did it in black, and then did the letters in pink, and then I did the opposite up here for the welcome. Um, so I punched it out in pink, and then did it with the black glitter, the matching glitter paper. And these ones, I just used a little bit of my foam tape right on the ribbon behind it, because that's really strong, so that way that should hold them up. So, hopefully she likes that. Welcome home, Caitlin. Sorry it's sprawled all across my counter with all my um, instruments, but I just wanted to share that with you before she came and picked it up. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you're all doing well. Bye.